Thank convenient. you for joining us. Thanks, Mike. It's a pleasure to be here. Thornbury yeah. wines. Okay, what would we have with these? Well, I think this would be a perfect match with some Pinot Gris. Mm. Pinot Gris. So, okay. So, tell us. Can we? Can we take? Yeah, do you absolutely. Mind? Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Where should we? Yeah. Yeah. Where yeah. does this one come from? Tell us a bit about the wine. So, this comes from the Wipra wine grown region, mm. North Canterbury, and um, it's a classic sort of Pinot Gris style. Oh, it's yeah. an off dry style. So, what I've done is I've left in a little bit of residual sugar to balance out that nice acidity. That is so good. And oh, you know, Pinot good. Gris. Is all about sort of um, freshness and aromatics. Mm. So it has some beautiful sort of spiced pear notes and apple, and, uh, and on the texture, it's very. It's got a big mouthfeel with that little bit of residual sugar, and I think that'll really work well with the um, the, the pork. Mm. Should you drink pork. it really cold? Yeah, you should do. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Nice and chilled. That's keep those really aromatics nice. and keep that, that freshness and beautiful. Yeah, it's exactly. really good. So you've got quite a unique approach at Thornbury to making the wine, haven't you? I have Tell not. us about that. Yeah. So what I've done is I've um, created like a regional theme. So about 10 years ago, we decided to make a point of difference from other wine producing um, companies around New Zealand. So I've picked varieties that are best suited to the key wine grown regions in New Zealand. Mm. Okay. Hence, Pinot Gris and Riesling out of Wipro because it's renowned for the aromatic varietals. Okay, let's move on to the next one. For the next, we go for the next, the Sauvignon Blanc? Uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, Ooh, tell us yeah. about I'll hand them down. Thanks, you tell Mel. us a little bit about them. Thank you. So where's this one from? What's so it this about? one here is from the Marlborough wine grown region. Thanks. And this is the bread and butter of the New Zealand wine industry. This is what pays my salary every month. <laughs> it smells you know? quite different and, too to that um, one. It's a fantastic, again, another um, aromatic style mm. of wine. And um, Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc is all about that sort of herbaceous sort of um, passion fruit. Um, yeah, I can smell that passion fruit. Exactly. Yes. That's yeah. what it is. And lychee and, and beautiful acidity. And again, you know, really fresh and bright. So it's a great summer drink and um, good, well, all year round, really, if you Equally want to. Equally delicious. Friday night, weekends. So when people are choosing wines, uh, they've really got to look at, you know, the regions it comes from, because that makes a big difference to the taste. Yeah, no, it? absolutely, yeah. I mean, all those regions have um, quite distinct um, climatic conditions, right. and microclimates, and they all impart sort of different flavour characteristics in the final wine. Mm. Okay. Right, I'm just moving us along here, because I want to make sure I sample everything. So <laughs> this one, what's this one? I love about? it. I love is, it, Mel. Uh, finally, this is a Central Otago Pinot Noir. So this comes from the little sub-region called Bannockburn, um, located just outside of Cromwell. And again, oh, Debbie's you know, been there. I'll travel. Mm, I'll travel. Yeah, right. so, and Grabley, it's Gravely there. Yeah, isn't exactly. Yeah. yeah, and they have very long growing seasons and right. cool nights. So you get this beautiful, again, bright sort of red cherries, black cherries, some really nice sort of um, mm. dried herb and, and thyme. And mm. you see all that beautiful thyme that grows around the hillside. So yeah. that actually imparts some nice and. It's very so how's, how's the so next nice. vintage shaping up? Next vintage is actually looking very good. I mean, we've had a really warm summer. We actually had a cool start to the season with a little bit of rain down there, but it's actually. Um, created some um, soil moisture so during the summer months mm. when it's dry and warm it's created that sort of um, engine for the um, grapes to That ripen. is really really very nice mm. thank you so much. No and I'm not welcome. just sucking up because mm. you bought the wine in but you know it's always <laughs> handy to look for a brand that covers everything and Thornbury I tell you what you win for me that is fantastic wine yeah, very interesting is. thank you so much Simon cheers, welcome, cheers. thanks yeah. for coming on the show cheers. and for more cheers. of these wines and for any more details you can go to thornbury.co.nz what a fantastic end to the show. I love it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I